Ember awoke to a distant roar, like a great wind. Her dreams, usually warm and bright, had taken on the chill of ice and azure. He dreamed of a great wind, a roaring in the air like some great beast, and the faint smell of sulfur jolting him awake. Rhyme's dreams were restless, filled with dancing fires and a bright, almost blinding light. He was the last in a long line of heroes the lone defender of the castle in the heart of this kingdom of ice. Rhyme lowered the drawbridge of his castle. As to what it guarded against, he realized he had no idea. As she emerged from the great oak that was her home, she noticed the once great trees of the forest were shattered, broken. It was as if a great storm had blown through, splintering all in its path, the roar that had awoken her. She ventured on, her curiosity growing as she climbed through the tree hollows. There was a growing chill in the air, and the branches stirred in the wind. The storm may have passed, but she knew another was on the way. Permafrost was melting. Rhyme felt a gust of warm wind and wondered if it had brought the wisp beside him. The winds had melted the ice bridges, causing new drops and chasms. But Rhyme could still use the cold to his advantage. ventured on to the edge of his kingdom. There, he hoped to find answers. The great fire that gave life to her land was dying. Fissures had cracked open tunnels in the cliffs, and great jets of sulfur erupted from the ground. Yet she knew she could use these to her advantage.
Prime hoped he still had time. He passed the gates of his kingdom and found new tunnels revealed by the melting of the ice. The glistening water of the cave ran down the walls like tears, as if weeping at the melting of his world. Both stepped on the bridge together, matching each other's steps. Ember met Rhyme. A shimmering barrier separated them. On either side of this barrier, each carried their world with them. Neither knew what world they had come to. Yet clearly, someone had been here long ago. As they rode across the sky, the two caught sight of a great castle in the distance. And over it, a dark shape soared into the air and was gone. Perhaps there at the castle, they would find answers to what threatened their worlds. Buoyed by Ember's warmth, they rose and ascended when Rhyme's chill fell upon them. Of who had made these tunnels, there was no sign. Only by working together were they able to move forward. The wreckage of great mechanisms, wheels, and pulleys lay along the path.
More structures lay ahead, forgotten in the overgrowth. Yet the road had been built with purpose in mind. 